Well, hello there, Ms. O'Connor's class. This is Mr. Habecker, and I hope to be able to answer the question that you guys had. This is like a mystery question for you guys, and let's solve the mystery. So first thing I'm going to do is I am going to label my place values. All right, so there's my place values, and I'm only going to go up to 10,000. That's good enough. All right, and now I'm going to model this. So when I model this, I'm going to model it as 4,000. So 1, 2, 3, 4. All right. So there's my 4,000, and that's this part right here. Now, before I can go dividing by 10, because if I only have 4 thousands, I can't divide that by 10 um, because we don't have enough thousands to divide. All right, so I am going to erase that little circle. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cash this thousand in for some hundreds. So if I cash that thousand in, I'm going to get ten hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now I'm going to cash this thousand in. And when I cash that thousand in, I'm going to get another ten hundreds. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to cash this one, and I'm going to cash this one in. So I'm going to get another two columns of ten. So all together, when I'm done drawing all these dots, I'm going to have forty dots in the ten, I mean in the hundreds column. So that means the answer up here is forty hundreds. So four thousand is equal to forty hundreds. And now when we are going to, it says now divide that by ten, because it says divide by ten. So when I divide by ten, that's going to give me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So it tells me that there are four hundreds when we divide by ten. If we take those forty hundreds and divide them into ten groups, that means our answer is four. So we have four hundreds. And that's really equal to 400. So the big thing that we want our students to understand, so the big thing we want our students to understand is when we have place value, all right, and this is the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, all right? So if we start off with like four hundreds, I mean four thousands, and if we take these four thousands and divide by ten, the thing we want them students to see is that essentially, if you take a thousand and divide by ten, that gives you a hundred. If you take uh, a thousand and divide by ten, that gives you a hundred. If you take a thousand and divide by ten, it gives you a hundred. And if you take a thousand and divide by ten, it gives you a hundred. So. If you, and I'm going to make this really, really obvious here, if you take 4,000 and divide by 10, that gives you 400. So 4,000 divided by 10 gives you 400. And I hope that helps you, and if it doesn't, send me another problem and I'll make another video. Good luck.